Alright, hey, what's up? Um, so we're checking out the map terminal for Minecraft over here at spawn point A. And I'm doing a post recording, uh, a post recording narration over here because obviously, uh, you know, you can't record during Bandicam for some reason. Or else, if you can, I haven't figured out how to do it. So the map itself looks really good, really accurate to the Modern Warfare maps. You know, this is more or less of a Modern Warfare 2, even though in the thumbnail I put Modern Warfare 3, because of the fact that the uh, library is a library instead of a sunglasses hut. But what I think is cool about this particular map is that all of the lines of sight from the Call of Duty games are similar to the lines of sight in this Minecraft game. So if you can get a shot off on the Minecraft or on the uh, Modern Warfare, you can get a shot off on Minecraft. And um, it just brings me back to playing Call of Duty. I remember uh, that tree uh, sitting there in the grass in drop zone and just raking in points because no one finds you. I don't know why, they just don't look in the grass. But I think this is really cool. You got that opening right here. It leads up to the overhang over there with the explosive barrels. Um, now the map is very similar. I think it's really nifty. I found it. Uh, I, I was just searching uh, YouTube and I saw this other YouTuber who had a map similar to this one. Uh, it was, I guess, their design. And uh, I was like, wow, that's cool. I'm going to go and try and find it on Google. So I went and found it. And it was a different map somebody else had made. I think they used the same template but edited it up a bit. Now I remember jumping up here, trying to get on top of this overhang. And okay, I fail. Um, but, you know, I remember you always fail your first time trying to get up here in the, in the Call of Duty game. So, you know, I think it's really cool. Except uh, right here you sh in the Call of Duty games, you could jump over there and walk around and hide in that overhang. And, uh,. I guess you can't do that. I guess there's physical limitations. Maybe put some upside down stairs or something. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, you got the tree from uh, Drop Zone. You'd always murk on that. You got Burger Town over here. Um, yeah, I think that sign says Burger Town. I don't remember. Um, yep. Yeah, it says Burger Town. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, so yeah, there's a the room back here, and I just remember, I remember that behind you there should be a door, right, with the teddy bear and everything in there, but there's no door there. I don't think it would be possible with the two by two block limitations to put a door there. Um, so yeah, over here, this is uh, I think B flag or A flag. I don't quite remember. I haven't played in a long time, and uh, those blue boxes are the uh, the cart that's in the Call of Duty games. It's just really cool how uh, the stuff has been translated from the Call of Duty games into into Minecraft. It's really nifty in my opinion. Over here is main hallway, main room. Um, now I think it, it's 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 fairly accurate in my opinion because what what you can get on in the Call of Duty games you can get on in this Minecraft map remake. Um, so I'm gonna take this ladder up. I remember got some lag going on there. Um, coming up here, going outside. It's really cool. Yeah, that's a perfect line of sight from the games. Can I make it? No, I don't make it. Um, let's see. Uh, do I make it? Almost. Adjust. Yeah, right into the door. Okay, so you do make it. And yeah, that's the explosive uh, gas propane tank behind me right now. So it's a really cool map. I have a, uh, a resource pack on right now that just... Well, it's a texture pack, resource pack. It only changes a few names, but um, I think it looks a lot cooler than the vanilla graphics. So the, the resource pack, that's why I threw it on, because otherwise it just kind of looks a little, you know, played out. You know, the uh, default Minecraft packs is pretty, you know, bland. So behind the bar here, you know, at the base of the terminal. And coming out here over to... Uh, a spawn or 
I don't remember exactly this is this but this is where one of the teams spawns in at. Oh yeah, okay, so over here, right. Um over here, yeah, I remember one time playing hide and seek or uh, Michael Myers, right? And I don't know why this spot's so popular, right? You would lay down right here, right? And um but no I lasted all the way to the end of a Michael Myers one time and uh but I didn't move. I, I I didn't realize I was the last one, so I just got stabbed in the back, game over. But yeah, technically I won that Michael Myers, right? So right here is where you would uh, run over at the beginning of um, Escape. Or oh, what's that custom game? Ah, I forget, where the sniper shoot at you. Anyway, yeah, so you'd come over here. Yeah, that's cool. I just think that because of the physical limitations of Minecraft, you can't put a barrier right there that would stop you from falling off. So, really cool nifty thing right there. Come back on down. I don't quite remember where I go next. I think I go... Oh, yeah. So, I show off the truck. Remember the truck? Well, I don't think in Modern Warfare 2 you can get on top of the truck, but in Modern Warfare 3 you could. So, there's a ladder there. So, hop up on top of the truck like this. Really nifty. Really cool. Same lines of sight. It's really beautiful, in fact. So, um, here's the back of the plane. Gonna come on up inside the plane. Um, oh yeah, the barrel's behind here. Sh uh, so I shoot him. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Um, so yeah, I have my game mode set in game mode 2, so that way you can't destroy blocks, because obviously I'm firing fire arrows, which would just melt all the wool and everything. So game mode 2 allows you to uh, not be able to break any blocks. And I have, um,. I have my graphical user interface hidden right now just for aesthetics and everything like that. I remember that you'd fire off so many shots in this control room right now and just get murked every time you come into the control room. Campers always camp right here, you know what I'm saying? You know, got the main hallway right here, or the secondary hallway. You get murked on, blasted on all the time. Oh yeah, over here, right? That's right. Okay. I remember in Modern Warfare 2 and 3, you can make it, but at, uh, I think at some point you... Uh, got the di jump distance nerfed and of course I miss it right there I think that's pretty nifty pretty funny that 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 I can't make it right there because now you can't make it in the game and then um it's got the same lines of sight right here under the uh, plane right here with the uh, where you can hide behind the shipping crates same line of sight same uh, focus and everything really cool gonna come over here that's roughly the same line of sight and everything for uh for B flag and um, yeah so what else can I uh, check out right here this is a post gameplay audio recording so I don't remember where I go next um, it's getting dark change the time of the day obviously you know can't show off the map when it's dark okay so I take the main stairs up oh yeah okay so I remember you can get on top of the plane so you know that where you hop on the door to the airplane and get on top of the plane? That was so fucking difficult. I failed a couple times here I'm trying to get up here as one would in the Call of Duty games. But you know, jump up here, jump up there. Now you're on top of the plane. Now that's really cool for uh, for obvious reasons that you know, you're know you not supposed to be able to get on top of the plane in Call of Duty. But somebody figured out how. So it's really cool that they put a little nod to that trying to be able to get up on top right here. You can't get up over here though if I remember correctly in the Call of Duty games, but Minecraft limitations say that you can. So it's cool that I'm able to take that little lip right there back inside. And uh, oh yeah, showing off the uh, sunglasses hut, the, the tech store. I remember that you can hop behind a painting right here in the Call of Duty. And so obviously you hop back here and here, same line of sight, same everything. It's a pretty good hiding spot if you're playing Michael Myers or whatever. Or Seek, you know. And, uh, I remember one time some guy was laying behind that counter right there and just, you know, setting off, uh, uh, claymores and everything. It was pretty pussy. But, uh, yeah, so it's really nifty. I'm just gonna probably cut the video out about here. I just wanted to show off this map. And, uh, it looks pretty good if you ask me. I will put a link into the description of where you can download it. And, uh, the way that you download it is that you just... When you download it, you go into your uh, app data folder, you go into your .minecraft folder, and then you open your saves, and then you download the, um, or then you drag the save file, 
put it in the saves, and it'll show up in your saves in-game. Alright, catch you later, bye.